This is going to be a quick video. Uh, somebody pointed out to me that Universal Radio Hacker wasn't working in the Lime SDR in Dragon OS Focal R4, and uh, I didn't see the post until after I uploaded the newest ISO, which is R5. And I went back and looked at it, and although the device comes up, it doesn't actually do anything. So uh, the easiest uh, way to fix it is to uninstall your existing install of uh, Universal Radio Hacker just like I did there. Come over to the GitHub page and we're going to scroll down to the section where it's talking about installation install from source or at least this is what I did um, to get it to work. You can pull down the uh, files into whatever uh, directory you're sitting in. Change directory. Sudo Python 3 actually. Set up. Install. That'll go through and look at everything that we have in Dragon OS. If you scroll up to the top, it should find the AirSpy, BladeRF, um, HackRF, LimeSuite, Pluto, RTL, SDR, and UHD. All right, that finished. Uh, and now the shortcut, uh, Universal Radio Hacker, or just from the terminal, will load that program up and your Lime SDR will work. I don't actually have my Lime SDR right now to, to show it, but uh, what I want to jump to is uh, something uh, just as interesting is uh, SDR Angel uh, just released a plugin for ADS-B Demodulator and Decoder. And uh, if we go over to the releases page and pull down the tar.gz, save that file. And this is pretty much what I do, uh, at least when it comes to SDR Angel, uh, when I when I update it. So it's it's pretty easy for anybody to maintain this if you don't want to go download a whole new Dragon OS just for uh, SDR Angel, or if you have 20.04 and you want to get SDR Angel, um, I just pull it down. You look in the directory, you'll see there's a dead package. So now we have the latest SDR Angel. And something I, I typically do if I've run it a bunch of times and, and just to be safe, uh, I'll, I'll typically remove in the hidden directory.config. Well, it actually hasn't ran yet, but if you look in there, I'll give an example real quick. So if you've run it before, If you've run it one, one time uh, and then saved it, you'll see there's this directory. You can uh, remove that, all your preferences, everything will be uh, erased. So what's what? is pretty cool about this feature is when I get a little more time I want to build SDR Angel from source and for everyone that has uh, SDR play equipment I've really only found the one way uh, which was uh, GR ADSB to use my equipment I know there's a special version of Dump 1090 but I think that's 
for an older version of um, maybe the API. I can't remember. But uh, so all I have right now is uh, I have a Blade RF XA4. And if I come over here, uh, it shows up twice. I'm wondering, I think maybe one instance is the UHD driver versus one being the Blade RF. I don't know. I'll have to ask about that. But I'll just pick the one on the top. Come over here to channels. First one, ADSB. I go ahead and add that. Plug in. Uh, if I start the, uh, let's see, we want to look at 1090. Take a look at 1090. Takes a little while for the radio load up. I'll bump the sample rate up. You can start to see the signal there. Uh, you can t increase the gain if you need, uh, but you see that it's already working here. I really didn't uh, have to do much of anything. And we've got a uh, flight along here. You can see the information's filled out. If you click on some of the different uh, categories here, it'll open up uh, different pages to explain uh, more about that flight. Uh, you can push your feed out to uh, adsbexchange.com. Uh, the only thing I've not seen work is uh, there's a map, uh, and I'm not quite sure why that's not why that's not working. So that should show the aircraft uh, if you click on uh, the AZEI category, azimuth elevation, it should lock onto that particular aircraft. And you can read more about uh, how, let's see, how it works uh, on their page here. That's what the map, uh, I suppose, should look like mentions that you can set your position, uh, which I did. I still didn't see the map, so um, yeah, I'll I'll probably take some time and I want to build this for SDR play. I think this will be a really handy tool for SDR play equipment, and uh, yeah, just really for any radio. All right, uh, you can add that. It's pretty easy to add. And you'll be up and running with uh, Lime SDR and the Universal Radio Hacker and a cool new ADSB feature in SDR Angel.